you can do research with any of our active researchers around here. And that research can really span from doing epidemiology and population health studies right through to looking at the cells involved in uh, helicobacter pylori or whatever you need, to need, whatever your area of interest is. We also have some really uh, strong um, neuroscience uh, research here uh, at UWA. Uh, that scholarly activity, you don't have to do research though. You can also do coursework related uh, units. So you can do some of our Aboriginal health units or you can do, do components of a Master of Population Health or a Master of ed, uh, Health Professional Education. Uh, or you can look into public health health spheres uh, or, or even do some service learning, which is where you will go to a department within the hospital and do some audits or do some work around how they could improve their healthcare service. So that's a little bit about the scholarly activity, which starts a little bit in year two, but really uh, kicks off in year three and year four of your four year medical degree. Uh, four electives, Vanessa? Yeah, so electives sit between your third and fourth year of your program. Um, and really, it's a great opportunity to sink your teeth into a part of medicine that you're really passionate about. Maybe you've come across something already in your degree and, and you want to see more of it, or maybe it's something that you haven't had the opportunity to explore yet. Um, but really, it's a fantastic opportunity to look at the type of medicine that you want to do and where you want to do it anywhere in the world um, within, within reason. Um, but really, it's um, fantastic for those international students that are keen to head home to practice. Um, so great way to get to your local health services, get to know people, build those relationships and see if that's where you want to be, how the system operates, because there's always going to be little differences between Australia and, and, and say, North America. Um, but then there's also fantastic opportunities to not necessarily go internationally. So a lot of our students do decide to use it as an opportunity to see a different type of medicine in Australia, particularly in our more rural and remote areas. Um, so getting out of Perth um, and heading north um, is quite popular um, or, or heading towards the, the red centre. Um, and really, it's a, a fantastic opportunity also to see some different parts of the hospital that you might want to spend a bit more time. Um, so if you are really passionate about heading into obstetrics, maybe you want to use that rotation to spend a bit more time there or in peds or do another rotation through general practice if you're really keen on family medicine. So really a fantastic opportunity to explore what interests you in medicine. And, and and that that ability for you to, to to direct some of your learning is really important for us to maintain within our program as mm -hmm. well. So uh, as Vanessa mentioned, you're probably coming into medicine with a pretty clear idea of what sort of a doctor you want to become, or maybe you're not, and that's absolutely fine. But if you're absolutely driven to become a cardiovascular surgeon or a family medicine practitioner in Ontario, mm -hmm. then for that elective, you can choose to go and do family medicine in Ontario, uh, so you get a feel for what it's really like. Mm -hmm. We also have in our course a selective, which is where you can again do that family medicine in Ontario or or further your skills. So you're coming out as someone who is is an intern or a junior doctor, but you're someone who is already quite skilled in a given area. Um, so selectives and electives are something that we have uh, throughout in the gap between year three and four and throughout the fourth year. 